Since Bible Let Alone came out, most YouTubers I've seen have been focusing on the countries that actually got new content with the DLC. Now, I'm not some kind of millionaire who can afford to buy Paradox DLC off sale. I'm not going to have it until Christmas at least. But there is something I want to try with the new Peace Deal system, which was included with the free update. But first, allow me to slip into something a bit less democratic. The way I've found of winning the American Civil War is taking the Work with the Bund focus, which guarantees the Midwest will stay with you. Recruiting the Fry Corps is also cool because it allows you to raise up a whole bunch of units across the Midwest and the South. Mexico has nationalized their oil. I will take this opportunity to get the war goal against them, though I'm not going to use it until I dealt with the West. It's as simple as that. I went ahead and annexed the Philippines, so hopefully Japan doesn't get their war goal on them. Now I can turn my attention to Mexico. I doubt Mexico will really require much micro out of me. You know, I think it's been almost exactly 100 years since the last time we invaded Mexico. I clicked out of it too fast, but uh, Mexico just joined the Allies. Hopefully I can capitulate them before they get called in. I'm going to kill myself. Okay, so I probably will need to do some micro to capitulate them before they can join the allies. I am sending the Mormons to invade some victory points along the coast. Uh, if I'd been on the offensive since the beginning, I think we would have had it. So this time, I'm setting up the naval invasions before I begin the war. That way I can get the planning up and execute them day one. Okay, so I've got these naval invasions executing. I decrypted the Mexican cipher a while ago. Gonna go ahead and throw that on. Execute war plan green. I actually got the landings off this time. Oh, come on! Well, if that didn't work, I guess I've just gotta destroy the entire allies now. Destroying the Allies has always been part of the plan, but I was hoping to take Japan and the Soviets first. I believe this is the third time the United States has attempted to invade Canada, and the first time it's been successful. I can't mobilize the economy at all because no one supports the current war, so... Uh, I've gotten up to 15% war support, which means I can go up to early mobilization. Probably not the island hopping campaign you were expecting. One more naval invasion before I can go for the grand prize. What wonderful timing. We got green sea. Operations are a go. Execute war plan red. Reveal intel. Now I need to rush down these other Ready. ports so I can bring in my troops over in Norway. Running a bit low on manpower, so I'm gonna get some women into the army. I okay. doubt that's gonna be enough to save them. Just sat there like England's a player who's not m noticing Ready. this. Move out! I thought there was some kind of Fall of London event. The United Kingdom has capitulated. Oh my gosh, who's left in the Allies? Gotta capitulate the Netherlands and India, great. You know, I don't think it gives any sort of notification if a country rebels from your occupation. It updated so that capitulated Netherlands is no longer a great power, so I've only gotta take out India. Mexico's dead again. I'm not getting the naval supremacy to get this invasion off, so I think I'm gonna have to find another way through to India. I have a hunch these guys have beat us to the bomb. Soviet Union just died. I imagine this one's going to be a bit harder than Iraq. We have reached India. We got the Hong Kong garrison here defending Pakistan from American tanks. We've broken through the mountains, just desert from here on. Beautiful, isn't it? Now that we've broken through the mountains of Pakistan, we're sweeping across the Gangetic Plain like Turkic conquerors in the Middle Ages. Oh, and I also forgot I even have a... where is it? We've connected the fronts. There was like 11 divisions encircled in this one tile here. Finally! 
This clip right here is probably the most important narration I did in the whole, like, to the whole video. So naturally, this is the one clip I would leave my microphone off when recording. Essentially, what I said here is that this was my first time actually seeing the new P-Steel screen after By Blood Alone came out. And I saw in some video before the DLC was actually released that the new Peace system would have an option to, like, take resources from a state without annexing that state and i'd wanted to do a video where i would take all the oil in the world just the oil as the united states because you know the meme but i'm pretty sure those additional demands are a dlc only feature which was not included in the free update so i just annexed the oil producing states in mexico and puppeted iran and iraq real-time narration is back I can't demand resource rights from the peace deal, but I'm this far down the focus tree already, might as well finish it off. I can still annex all the oil producing states. Guess who turned off his microphone again and then promptly forgot about it. Didn't really say anything important, just going to war with Japan. Got an event to send a general to China. I'm pretty sure Eisenhower died in the Civil War, but it gives me the option to send... Huh. I've gotten two collaboration governments prepared against Japan, so I'm going to go ahead. Seems they left Nagasaki undefended. I think I'll send in my mechanized army first. Japan has modern tanks, but not to worry, my light recon tanks can pierce them. American half-tracks are in Kyoto. The microphone's on this time? Good. Okay, so first I'm going to want to take Borneo and the part of Australia that has oil. And I'm going to puppet Japan. Mm, so because I ran out of war score and couldn't puppet all of Japan, it just left Japan alive in the west. I think I'm just going to finish this up and then call it there. Ideally I'd like to take out the Axis 2, but it's 1947. I'm just too late to take on Germany. I will, though. Well, we're the same color as no faction, so that doesn't look as good as I hoped it would. You know what, that'll actually take too long, so I'm just gonna... There. Actually, I think I will take some of these oil-producing states in South America before calling in a video. It seems even though I left their faction, Germany still likes me. And there's Colombia dealt with. This one should be pretty quick, too. Bit of a problem I found with the new peace deal system. I'm passing, but I'm not getting any more score. And I don't have enough score for Ecuador. There we go. Now, Venezuela and Peru are probably going to be a bit harder than these two to take out because they are fascists, which means they could join the Axis. I'm hoping I can overwhelm Venezuela before they can join the Axis. Also... Eh, I am... I improved relations with Germany and Italy, hoping they would accept that, but I guess not. It's not a great sign for the invasion either. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Attention. I think I'm just gonna take Peru and call it a night. Hmm, the coast is more well defended than I anticipated. I've encircled half their army over here. You know what? I've got the oil. Pushing in South America is not how I want to spend my Friday night, so uh, I'm just gonna... So I'm just gonna call it a night. 